Assalamu alaikum friends, my name is Bilal Khan and this is my fourth video of DevOps. In this video I am going to talk about computer networking. But before this, let's define what is computer. So computer is a machine that will take input from the user and give it an output. So this is the simple definition of computer. So you, it will take the use input from the user and give it an output. It will be in the form of video, it will be in the form of uh, uh, a text, it will be in the form of some mathematical calculation, uh, calculations. So all the data that, will, that you will give to the computer will give it an output. All right. So after that, let's define what is a computer network. So a computer network is a collection of all the computers that are connected together to form a network. So let's say there are two computers that are connected together and this uh, to a connection of two computers will form a network. All right, so there can be uh, uh, 10 computers, then can, there can be 20 computers. So all the computers that will be connected together will form a network, and that network will is called computer networks. All right, so after that, let's move to the definition of Internet. So the definition of Internet is Internet is the collection of all the computer networks. So previously we saw that uh, computer networks is the collection of all the computers and the internet is a collection of all the computer networks. So let's uh, give it an, a, as an example. So this is the example of computer networks. So let's say one computer is connected to another and the another computer is connected to the first one. So this connection is called computer networks. Now let's move to the internet. So the internet as you can see that there are a bunch of computers that are connected together. A is connected with B, B is connected with G, G is, uh, B is also connected with C, C is connected with D, D with E, E with F, F with G, G with B, B with uh, G with H also. So the, this, uh, these are the computers that are connected together and its collection is called internet. All right. So after that, let's move to the history of internet. So in the Cold War, USA had a clash with Soviet Union and in this uh, Cold War, USA created an agency called DARPA. So DARPA is the Defense Advanced uh, Research Projects Agency or it is also called ARPA. So basically it was responsible for the use of advanced technologies. All right. So after that, in initially there were some institutions that were connected together in the DARPA agency. So there were a lot of uh, there were uh, a lot of institutions, but some of them are Stanford Research Institute, University of California, and University of Utah. So these institutions were uh, connected uh, un under the DARPA agency. All right. So uh, they created a network called ARPANET to communicate with each other. Basically, they faced a problem, and the problem was that each of the institution was far from each other. So uh, Stanford has a different location, University uh, of California, Los Angeles has a different location, and University of Utah had a different location. So they created a, no a network uh, that is called ARPANET to communicate with each other for, uh, for, from far places. All right? So they used uh, protocols in the ARPA network. All right? So what is protocol? So protocols are the set of rules that are used to communicate with different networks. So what do you mean by set of rules? So the, the set of rules are the rules that will be a, you, that will be different for each of the data. So let's say the set of rules will be different for videos. The rules will be different for emails. The rules will be, uh, the rules will be different for uh, for confidential information also. So these rules will uh, will be different for each of the data that will be sent to the receiver. So the protocol was created, the rules were uh, created so that uh, different for different data, uh, different rules are created so that they can communicate uh, secu insecurely, all right? So that they can commu uh, communicate securely and efficiently. So some of the protocols are TCP, UDP, HTTP. So there are a bunch of protocols, but I mentioned just three of them. So every protocol has different functionality. Let's, uh, check, uh, let's, let's check it out. 
so the tcp protocol is transmission control protocol uh, this protocol was used uh, if you want to send the 100% information to the receiver so let's say you have a secret document or you have a, some confidential information that you want 100% to be sent to the receiver so in that case the tcp will come uh, coming picture because it will not corrupt the um, it will not corrupt the data that you want to send to the receiver it will make sure to send 100% data to the receiver after that the udp comes the udp is the user data gram protocol it will uh, make sure to send the data but it is not uh, that strict as compared to tcp so if the data if some of the data is compromised in the between in between so the udp uh, is uh, it will not that matter for the uh, it will not that much uh, are harmful for the UDP. So let's say you want to say uh, the video conference is the best example. So let's say two people are communicating using uh, the video, and uh, and if some frames are corrupted, then the UDP it will not be uh, as important for the UDP because some frames deletion will not that ma matter. All right. So after that. And let's move to the HTTP. So HTTP is a hypertext transfer protocol. This will, uh, this is basically used in the browser. It will basically uh, communicate uh, to the from the client to the server, and uh, the client will communicate with the server, and the server will respond to the client. So this is basically used in the um, web browser. All right. So now uh, we have defined what are the set of rules and what are some of the protocols that are used in this uh, way. So now let's uh, uh, ask the question that who set these rules. So we, uh, we saw that who, what are the set of rules, but we, uh, we are not aware of that who set these rules. So to, uh, the, set of the, people, the organization that set these rules is Internet Society. So let's close this slideshow and now move to the uh, website Internet Society internetsociety.org now you can see that I am currently in the Internet Society website so it is a non-profit uh, organization that will set the internet rules and there are a lot of experts that are contributing uh, to Internet Society uh, which is making an internet a better place so you can also contribute into, into this Internet Society if you have an uh, idea All right. So you will give it an idea, and you, uh, if the if the, your idea is uh, is good for them, then they will uh, accept this. All right. So now um, let's move to the slideshow again. After that, let's move to another page, and that is a problem. So the problem is uh, basically the DARPA was initially created as a research project. It was not for the commercial use. So the, in the beginning, the universities were com uh, communicating with each other so using this protocol. Uh, and the problem was that, that uh, let's say they had a, a research paper that they want to transfer to another university. And in that research paper, they had a link that will, uh, that had a, refer a reference link that will lead to another research paper. All right. So let's say I have um, a computer science research paper. And uh, in this research paper, I have a link, a reference link also, and that reference link will uh, lead me to another research page. And so this research page will also uh, will also contain the details of computer science. So this uh, functionality was missing from the uh, initial in the initial stage. So they, uh, this was a problem for them. So they created a solution called www World Wide Web. So this was the solution that that it allows uh, the user that it allowed the user to have a reference link in any page, not just research page, in any page, and it was also uh, responsible to save the da uh, data in uh, of this, these pages. All right. So this was the uh, purpose of uh, this was the solution of www. So now let's look into the world first website. Click on this. As you can see that this was the world first website, w, World Wide Web. This is the link info.cern.ch 
slash hypertext slash www slash the first uh, the project dot html so as you can see that there are a bunch of links in this uh, project in this world wide web website if i click on any one of these uh, it will lead me to another page and there are a bunch of links also if i click on any one of these it will lead me to another page so the list will go and gone all right so if i click on this it will lead me to another page all right so this is the uh, first website that was created at that time now if uh, i completed now the question arises that how world wide web works initially we uh, saw that what is world wide web now i will see that how world wide web works so basically as uh, for, let's say you have a computer and in that computer you have a browser and in the browser you type google.com all right so if you click on this google.com it will send a request to the server all right so there are a bunch of server for every company so this will send a request from your client to the server and the server will respond to the uh, your computer with a page called google.com all right so basically you send a request to the server server will uh, check if the uh, google.com website is present so after that it will uh, respond with the google.com and the page will be appear, a page will appear in your computer all right so this is the uh, overall uh, this is the broad overview that i shown you here so basically if you give uh, if you go to the minor details you will see that this request and respond is not just happening in the cloud it is happening in the under the sea and under the ocean all right so all the things that we are doing from sending a request and give, uh, receiving a response all the things are happening in the under the sea so there are a, a line of pipelines that are in the under the sea that is basically doing this work all right so now uh, large files will be transferred in chunks and packets so basically the large files uh, if you can uh, let's close this slide show let me show you something uh, i move to another page let's click on the inspect and now you can see that i am in the inspect element page so if i click on this uh, uh, if i open another network tab all right so as you can see that nothing is present here so i will simply write google.com so now you can see that there are bunch of things appearing in this uh, network tab and uh, it is still going on all right so basically these are the chunks these are the files that are uh, that uh, that in a collection will make a google.com website so basically if you uh, want to transfer the data from one location to another then the data will not be transferred at once it will be divided into different branches it will be divided uh, separately and those separate uh, separate uh, data separate data will be sent one by one in the uh, in the in the uh, in the send into the receiver it this data will be transferred to the receiver one by one all right so in this way uh, all the collection all the data will be collected and this will make a google.com website so this is uh, this is same for other websites also so if you type any website this network these chunks will be appear so the, this is the name this is the status type initiator size time waterfall so these are some of the things that i will be discussing in the next videos so let's close this and now let's move to the slide show again and after that uh, there is a question when you type google.com how does it find which server to connect to so basically if you type any website not just google how it will identify that the it is connected to a particular server so it will be uh, identified by an ip address so all computers and servers are identified by an ip address all right so the computers and the servers every server or computer has a unique ip address so let's take an example of a mobile phone or phone book so um, let's say you have a uh, uh, you have different numbers in your phone and you store the numbers by um, uh, you can't memorize all of them you just store the numbers uh, by um, 
by a name of a particular person that a number uh, is of this person or and a number of this person so you will identify a uh, number from this person and if you call that person uh, you need to simply uh, find this person's name and it will uh, and if you and if you transfer that call it will be received to the uh, receiver phone number uh, receiver phone all right so this is the same thing that is happening in the computer and the server so the computer and the server are identified by an ip address so every computer and server that are connected to the internet talk to each other via an ip address so uh, let's say uh, if the computer has a uh, computer send request to the server the server will check the ip address and that uh, and to that ip address server will send the response to this computer all right so these will talk to each other all right so now uh, let's uh, here is the uh, format of an ip address x dot x dot x dot x all right so this is uh, these are four x's and for every x uh, the number would be in uh, starting from 0 to 255 so the x will be uh, in between 0 to 55 so same is uh, same is for this x and for this and for this x so four x's will be in the uh, so starting from 0 to 255 all right so now uh, check the command for a, of an ip address so if you want to check an ip address you will simply need to uh, write curl if config dot me a hyphen s so it will show you your IP address of your computer in the command in the command prompt or, or, or in your terminal. So this is the command for checking out your IP address. So that's it. Uh, please like this video. I hope you will like it. And if you have uh, um, liked this video, then make sure to subscribe to my channel also. And if you have any questions, then uh, please ask those questions in the comment section. I will be happy to answer all of your questions. So till then, goodbye.